I was looking for Jim and shooting any son of a bitch stupid enough to get in my way. And that included Jesse James himself. Yeah, I gotta fight this guy again. Shit. Oh. That was easy enough. There sure were a lot of men determined to die that day. Piercing shot. It was then that Jesse detached the express car from the rest of the damn oh train. Oh my... Duck! Ah! I could see Jesse waiting for me. Fixing to kill me so he could get away with all that money. Duel! You had a showdown with Jesse James? Of course he didn't. Everybody knows that Jesse was killed by Bob Ford. Yeah. Jesse went out like John Wesley Harden. Coward shot him in the back of the head. Guess it doesn't matter how far you run, does it, Ben? Your past always catches up with you. Duck! Ah! Yeah, I didn't kill Jesse James. Just wounded him bad enough to convince him to hang up his guns. What about that Jim fella? What happened to him? I figure he was up front with a gun to the engineer's head. That bastard slipped away again. I'll tell you how I got him. But first I need to whip my whistle. All right, all four nuggets. Sweet. Moving on. After my showdown with Jesse, I continued to track his brother, Frank, and that son of a bitch Jim. I followed those bastards into the high mountains as they were going to ground. What mountains would that be? Somewhere in the Ozarks, I believe. The perfect place to hide out from the authorities. Gotta love fact, a good story. I could find them, Holy some shit. Indians who fled the res and were hiding out from the military found me first. They probably thought I was a cavalry scout and didn't want me telling the military where they were. Engines? Yeah, they, they could have been uh, Cheyenne, but there was all sorts of renegades roaming the landscape back then. Okay, goal for this level? 90% shooting. Why does it sound like there's horses around me? Oh, come on. No running! Another whiskey, Ben. Nothing better to soothe the troubled soul. Getting to now, a where camp. was I? Indians, right? I had more than my share of run-ins with the Red Man. Like that time. Did I tell you about Grey Wolf? Yes, sir. You did. Ah, of course I did. In fact, I can still remember that old medicine man's words to me. Jesus Christ, we're back to that again. You carry great darkness in your heart. It will claim your soul. You will come to this place again. 
and kill many more men. Okay, not gonna get 90% with shooting like that. Oh my god. Until it consumes everything you are. Did you ever find him? Who? The man you are after. Let me ask you something, Ben. You ever think about death? Mr. Graves, are you all right? Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Okay. Don't use dynamite. Won't you spare me over to another year? What is this that I can't see? With ice cold hands taking hold of me, well I am death. None can excel. I'll open the door to heaven or hell. Oh, death! Someone would pray. Oh God! Could you wait to call me another day? Oh, 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 dear, won't you spare me over till another year? So, are you gonna answer the question? What question is that? Jim Reed. Did you ever find him? Reed was indeed that son of bitch's surname. That's right, Ben. A despicable character. I remember him laughing like a hyena that cold morning they lynched me and my brothers. He was intent on avoiding my vengeance, but nothing was gonna stop me. Nothing. Frank James. I finally did track those outlaws down. They had long rifles with scopes and were well positioned to pick off any poor soul who came anywhere close. Get low, get low. Don't tag me. I'm guessing Frank James believed I was responsible for the demise of his brother Jesse. I couldn't really disagree with the man as I thought Jesse was dead then as well. He backed off as I closed in on him, but he was still intent on killing me. And when I closed in on him again, he backed off again, looking for a better angle on me. Ah! Uh... Hell, I can't fault Frank for wanting his revenge as I was there for the same damn reason myself. At this point, I'm guessing you think Silas Graves is a worse murderer than Jim Reed ever was. No, sir. A man who spent half his life killing somebody's brothers. Oh fathers, my god. Sons. I think you were just looking for justice, sir. Is that what I was looking for, Dwight? Is that what it was? Ow! Justice. Isn't that why you were hunting the James Gang? The James Gang. I finally Damn it. found Frank holed up in his mountain cabin, and he was determined to have me dead. I guess I was not supposed to engage there. It was a pitched battle that could have gone either way. Luckily, I had some dynamite in my possession. Dynamite? On your person? A few sticks, just in case. It's always good to be prepared. Right. 
I'm just laying out the facts as I remember them, Jack. And that son of a bitch! Take him out! This is gonna be more Ow! Oh, gotta still keep behind, stupid. I gotta double back. Yeah. Okay. More dynamite. Put him down. I want that bastard down. I'm gonna cut you in two. Can't do it with a bullet inside your head, can ya? Man. Uh. There you go. GG. That old shack? Well, it went tumbling right off that cliff. With Frank James still in it? Yes, sir. But Frank James is still alive. Living in Missouri, showing folks around the family farm for 25 cents a tour. I didn't say he died in the fall, now did I? I'm done with this damnable outlaw life! Kill me, don't kill me, do what you will! At this point, I just don't give a shit! I explained to Frank that I had nothing against him personally and that I was looking for someone else. You want Reed? Have at him! I never did like that bastard! I am done here! Store his game more far We parted in peace as Frank pointed out the path to my prey before making his way back down the hill. Where be this nugget? There it is. Coming to the end here. Just got the last dude to kill. Whoa. So what happened with Reed? Well, I finally found the last of the gang hiding in a nearby cave. First, I had to dispatch the lookouts, as I was determined not to let that murderer escape my revenge again. Point of no return. Is this some guy? But rather than there wander go. in willy nilly, I decided it would be better to smoke that son of a bitch out. Hey, Reed! I shouted. No wonder you're so ornery. Can't be easy being married to Belle Star. While you're off providing for the family, she's spreading her legs for every Tom, Dick, and Cole younger. Not an attractive woman exactly, but very friendly. At least she was to me. Son of a bitch! <laughs> what do we got here to work with? It was then that the last bunch of bandits jumped out of hiding. Why won't this asshole give up? Would someone please kill him? Oh my god, shoot you right in your dick. That is a pile of rocks. Oh, I gotta reload. How we doing? Eventually, it was just me and Reed. I had waited a long time to face him down, so I could repay him for what he did to my brothers. Keeps moving.
and repay him I did. GG. Eighty percent. Nine percent short of what I wanted, but that's okay. All right, let's see how this ends.